In this lecture, we are going to learn about the OF and FROM operator of RxJS and what is their use. And let's start with OF operator. So the OF operator creates an observable from the arguments that we pass into it. And you can pass any number of arguments to OF operator. And each argument which you pass to OF operator, it will be emitted separately one after the other. So each argument will be streamed. And once all the arguments have been emitted, the OF operator also sends the complete signal at the end. Let's understand OF operator with an example. So here I am in the appcomponent.ts file. Here, let me first go ahead and let me create two arrays. So first array, I will call it as array1. And in there, let's specify some elements. And then let's also create a second array. Let's call it array2. And there also, let's specify some elements, some string values. Okay, so here we have two arrays. Now, we are going to make use of OF operator to create an observable. So, currently we are creating this my observable using the observable constructor. But let me go ahead and let me comment it. And now, we are going to create an observable using OF operator. So, again, I am going to call the observable as my observable. And to this, we will assign the result returned by the OF operator. And as we learned, the OF operator it is going to return an observable and that observable will be assigned to this my observable. Now to this off operator, we need to pass an argument. So let me go ahead and let me pass array one as the argument. So let's say this dot array one. Okay. And here we have this error and it says cannot find name off. That's because when we want to use the off operator, we also need to import it from RxJS library. So let's also import it. All right, and that error is gone. So here, this off operator, it will return us an observable and that observable is going to emit this data, this array. Now, when this data will be emitted, what we are doing, we are handling that data using this next function. So we are basically going to push that data, that array to this data array. Okay, so if we save the changes, and if you go to the web page, when I click on this get data, first we are seeing this alert window which says all the data is streamed. And when I click on this OK button, you will see that the elements of that array has been displayed here. Now you might ask why the alert window is shown first. Well, here it looks like that alert window was shown first, but actually first this data was displayed here and then only that alert window was displayed. But it was so quick that it looked that the alert window was displayed first. So what I will also do is here, let's log the value. Let's save the changes. Let's go back to the web page. Let me open developer console. Let's go to console tab. Let's clear everything here. And now when I click on this get data button, you will see that first the data has been logged. And after that, the off operator has also emitted a complete signal. Okay. And when it is going to emit the complete signal, we are handling that complete signal using this complete function. And there what we are doing, we are showing this alert message, all the data is streamed. And that's what you will see in this alert window. It says all the data is streamed. So keep in mind that the off operator is going to emit all the data, which we are passing it as an argument one after the other and once all the data is emitted it is automatically going to emit complete signal okay we don't have to manually emit the complete signal it will be automatically emitted by the off operator now to the off operator we can also pass multiple arguments so here currently we are only passing one argument but let's also pass the second array as the second argument for this off operator now, if I save the changes, if you go to the web page, let's clear the console here. And when I click on this get data, you see both the arrays have been logged. And after that, the complete signal was emitted. And when the complete signal was emitted, it will display this alert window. And you can see the data in the UI also. Okay. Now, keep in mind that the off operator is streaming these data. 
it is emitting the data one after the other. In the same way, we can also pass multiple values like 20, 30, maybe some string value, hello, a Boolean value, maybe true, something like this. And all these data, all these values, it will be emitted one after the other. They will be streamed one after the other. And once all the data is streamed, which we are passing as an argument, after that, this off operator will also emit a complete signal. So now if we go to the web page and when I click on this get data button, you see all the data have been streamed. They have been emitted one after the other. And after that, the complete signal was emitted. And when the complete signal was emitted, we can see this alert window. And one more point to remember here is that when we are passing an array as an argument to this off method, that array is getting emitted as it is. Okay, it is not extracting each element of that array and then emitting it. It is emitting the complete array as it is. This is very important to understand. So this was about off operator. Now let's talk about from operator. The from operator takes a single argument which can be iterated over and it converts it into an observable. So just like off operator, the from operator will also return us an observable. But unlike off operator, from operator only takes a single argument and that argument must be an iterable like an array or a string or something like that. Let's understand from operator with an example. So let me comment this line again. And now we are going to create this my observable using from operator. So here we need to call that from operator. And again, in order to use this from operator, we need to import it from RxJS library. Okay, so I have imported it from RxJS library. And to this from operator, we need to pass a single argument, which should be an iterable. In our case, this array1 and array2, it is an iterable. So let me first pass array1 as an argument to this from operator. Okay, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. Let me clear everything. And let's click on this get data button. Now here you will notice that each element of that array has been emitted one after the other. So the from operator here, it is not returning this array as it is, like the off operator was doing. Instead, it is taking each element of this array one and it is emitting it one after the other. So basically, it is streaming each element of this array one, one after the other. So this is the difference between from operator and off operator. And just like off operator, the from operator also emits the complete signal once it has emitted all the data from the iterable. So again, if I go back, let me refresh the page. And when I click on this get data button, you will see that all the data has been emitted and it has been logged. And after that, it has also emitted a complete signal. That's why we are seeing this alert window, which says all the data is streamed. Okay, so just like off operator, the from operator also emits a complete signal after all the data from the iterable has been emitted. Now, as I mentioned, to this from method, we need to pass an iterable like an array or a string. If we try to pass a value which is not an iterable, for example, let's say 23, you see we have an error here. And the error says argument of type number is not assignable to parameter of type observable input. Basically, here we need to pass an iterable. If I pass a string value, in that case, it will work. So, for example, now I'm passing a string value and string value is an iterable. So in this case, it will work. So here what from operator will do is it will emit each character of that string one after the other. It will stream each character of that string one after the other. So for example, let me make this string value a little bit lengthy. So it has two, four, six, eight characters. So now this from operator, it is going to emit eight values. Two, three, four, three, five, nine, seven, and four. Let's see that in action. So let's save the changes. Let's go back to the web page. And when I click on this get data, you see each 
character of that string has been emitted one after the other. It has been streamed one after the other. And you can also see them in the UI. All right. So this is how the from operator works. Now, one more important point to remember is that if you want to convert a promise to an observable, then this from operator is the best way to do that. For example, let's say you have a promise and you want to convert that promise into an operator. Let me actually go ahead and let me create a promise. So let's create a property. Let's call it maybe promise data. You can call it anything. And to this, let's go ahead and let's assign a new promise. So here we are calling the constructor of the promise. And to this, let's pass a callback function. This callback function is going to receive two arguments, resolve and reject. Now what we want is from within this promise, we want to return an array. So let me go ahead and let me resolve this promise. And from here, let me emit an array. Okay, and in that array, let's say we have some numbers like 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. All right, so this promise, it is going to return this data. Right, now we want to convert this promise, this promise data. Currently, it is a promise. We want to convert this promise to an observable. For that, we can use this from method. So let's pass this promise to this from operator and it will convert that promise into a observable and here we need to access that using this keyword because this promise data is a property okay so this promise will be converted into an observable by this from method so if we save the changes now if we go to the web page and when i click on this get data button you see these are the values that my observable contains 10 20 30 40 and 50. so basically this promise here it is returning an array and when we are converting this promise to an observable that time also it is going to return that array so this was all about off operator and from operator if you have any questions related to off operator or from operator then feel free to ask it.